Now our Sunday spotlight shining this week on popular NPR host Scott Simon and his unique tribute to his mom, Patricia, a tribute in tweets sent from her hospital room before she died at age 84. Scott was by her side for five days with his Blackberry, sharing pain, charm, and humor. For Scott's over one million followers, the tweets touched a chord. Some thought it was a little too personal, but so many more were moved by his respect and adoration for his mom, all captured in no more than 140 characters. Some examples I know and might be near, as this is only day of my adulthood. I've seen my mother, and she hasn't asked, why that shirt? I tell my mother, you'll never stop teaching me. She said, well, don't blame me for everything. I love holding my mother's hand. Haven't held it like this since I was nine. Why did I stop? I thought it unmanly. What crap. I just thought there was something in there that, uh, that needed to be shared. I would sit there at her bedside and I would hold her hand. Um, things would occur to me. And it was also a way of me taking notes. It was also a way of me keeping this experience and honoring for, for me and honoring her. You had a record is. for the world. I couldn't stop reading them. And I think part of it was we could all relate to that. Yeah. Dying is, is really the one universal experience. It's something we're all going to have. She said to me at one point, you know, you and I can get through this, baby. The hard part is going to be for you later. But she's right. That's, uh, she's absolutely right. I think what struck me too, and probably everybody else, was the humor in your tweets. I think it's a way of getting through. We were up continually, I guess, about 48 hours um, before she died. And I would tell her she needed to rest. She said at one point, no, I don't, <laughs> stating the obvious. And just, you know, and when she looked at me at one point and said, darling, I tell you, those great deathbed speeches, they all had to be written in advance. <laughs> it, was just, it was just utterly hilarious. I want to read the tweet that got to me the most. The heavens over Chicago have opened, and Patricia Lyons Simon Newman has stepped on stage. <sighs> My mother was an old show girl. She uh, was the John James Hairspray girl. And it occurred to me at some point in the middle of all this, my mother was giving me one last great performance. She was making it easier for us to live with what was coming. And she didn't want to burden us with her pain. And I am I'm utterly convinced that, that when the heavens over Chicago parted and she stepped there, there was an enormous round of applause and an ovation from everyone from, uh, from Shakespeare to Billy Rose, congratulating her. Our thanks to Scott Simon. And now we honor our fellow Americans who serve and sacrifice. This week, the Pentagon released the names of four soldiers killed in Afghanistan. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight. George is back next week, and we hope you will be too. Good morning.